Hi, hi. Today we shall be developing vector error correction model and we have some variables such as cons. Cons means consumption, EX means export and GDP means gross domestic product so we have these three variables and the variables are here I can show you the variables it is observation from 1960 until 1995 so that is our observation and we have three variables one is cons consumption and then is ex means export then gdp meaning that gross domestic product so we have this variables okay now now we assume that without testing that all these three variables such as consumption export and GDP are non-stationary but if we convert all the variables into first difference then they will become stationary that we assume without testing so and when this thing happens then we can run the Johansen co-integration test and that we shall be doing now okay and uh, I open my uh, okay I go to we have to go to statistics to do it I go to statistics then I go to multivariate time series then co-integrating rank of a VCM right okay so here already the variables are here already but the first variable suppose I choose consumption and the okay now first consumption then I choose export then I to choose GDP so these are the three variables uh, I have and here I choose lag 3 maximum lag so I choose lag 3 and trend specification I choose constant okay and here I have chosen lag 3 maximum lag uh, uh, because lag selection criteria has advised me to choose this lag so I have taken lag 3 because lag selection method has advised me to do so okay and uh, time settings here is time settings okay here I choose uh, uh, observation and here I choose yearly data I select yearly data right and then I press ok then I click on the reporting in the reporting I select this one maximum eigenvalue statistics that I select so I think everything is set I click on the OK so the outcome has come up 
okay we can see the Johansen test of cointegration and uh, and you can see we have three variables right and uh, here you can see so that is maximum rank that is zero what is zero zero means I'm sorry zero means there is no cointegration among variables actually that is our null hypothesis right it is our null hypothesis an alternative hypothesis is there is cointegration among variables that is alternative hypothesis okay and here you can see we have trace statistics and we have also 5% critical value that we have okay so and what is the guideline the guideline is when the trace statistics is more than critical value we can reject null hypothesis and can accept alternative hypothesis but if the trace statistics is less than critical value then we cannot reject null hypothesis rather we accept null hypothesis meaning that there is no cointegration okay here zero is our null hypothesis meaning that there is no cointegration that is our null hypothesis and what is happening here 57.01 is more is is more than critical value 29.68 so we can reject the null hypothesis which is zero so when we reject null hypothesis then immediately I can come here that means there is one cointegration model or one cointegration e equation okay so now it has become our null hypothesis can I reject I check here our trace statistics is 8.40 which is less than critical value 15.41 so we cannot reject null hypothesis rather we accept null hypothesis meaning that there is one cointegration e equation meaning that our three variables are cointegrated meaning that our three variables have long run association ship meaning that in the long run they move together and when the variable are integrated then we can run the vector error correction model VECM model when the variables are cointegrated but if the variables are not 
co-integrated then we can run only unrestricted var model so that is always guideline so here the variables are co-integrated so we can easily run vector error correction model okay and we have one more uh, outcome that is max statistics right and here the procedure is same as zero you, you can see zero the null hypothesis is there is no co-integration and statistics value is 48.61 which is more than critical value 20.97 so we can reject null hypothesis meaning that we can reject this zero and we can come here one we can come here one okay and you can see the statistics value 8.31 which is less than 14.07 meaning that we cannot reject null hypothesis rather we accept null hypothesis meaning that there is one co-integration equation meaning that our three variables are co-integrated meaning that they have long-run association ship and when the variables are co-integrated we can easily run vector error correction model and you can see the trace statistics and max statistics are they are telling the same thing they are telling the same thing that variables are co-integrated so we can run the vector error correction model and that we shall be doing now thank you very much for being with me for a while so next video are vector error correction model that uh, that uh, i shall be showing